guys, Jamie Grace here. Today's Saturday, hope you're having a great Saturday. I usually do videos on Fridays, but also I'm pregnant, so happy Saturday, here we are. I have not done a call you back video in a while. Um, my number is 415-494-7223, you can leave me a voicemail. And I do love calling you guys back, but I have not gotten to do it in a while. And so we were sitting down and looking at stuff and I was like, wait, I also could totally do a write you guys back. You guys have been sending me some mail. I'm so sorry because I'm not able to go through all of it, but I got a great amount of it. Some of it's a little bit delayed, but I'm like, hopefully you won't be too mad. I'm better late than never. This is some of the stuff that I recently got, some books I got and some stuff. I'm really excited, so grateful to be a part of helping to share about this awesome movie, Creed 2. I haven't even opened these yet, but we do have boxing gloves and a new book bag, um, and I'm really excited about it. Viewer discretion is advised, it's definitely about grown up life stuff, but um, yeah, thank you so much for sending like this stuff. You guys know, like if you see this on my Instagram, I'm like a certified kickboxing instructor. These are some like awesome like hand grip situation thingies. Um, and we're super pumped about those, the new gloves. So thank you so much for sending those. And then this is The Wondering Years by Knox McCoy. Um, it's a really cool book to my personal understanding. I haven't gotten to read through it yet. So if it stinks, not my fault. This is Considerate Joy by Candace Payne. It's like a really artsy kind of devotional. It comes with these markers and stuff. Thank you, Candace, for sending that over. I am so proud of Miss Trinity Stokes. This is her new book, Bold and Blessed. I'm so proud of this girl. You might remember her from the show Casey Undercover, but this girl is like literally so passionate about her faith and just being an awesome human in general. So I'm really proud of her. Last but not least is written by Marjorie Jackson. She was a student at my sister and I at our camp, the good camp. We can't take credit for this Devo, but it is cool to say that she was one of our students. Just really excited for her and this incredible devotional for young women. We're just really pumped crap. I'm so out of breath, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so excited to jump into some of y'all's mail. I have these postcards that we've made and I can like leave a little note on the back of them as well. So let's get started. This is from Rachel Brubaker in Pennsylvania. She said she's so glad that I'm doing what I'm doing and living life with intention and passion. Wait it out in reverb or especially uh, my heartbeat. I love you, you are my sister in Christ, you are a queen. That's so nice, thank you so much, Rachel. Um, okay, so I'm gonna write Rachel back and let her know that she's awesome. I'm just gonna put this envelope with it, sit it right here, and it needs to be addressed and mailed out to her, and then she'll hopefully get a letter. This is so cute. I don't think you guys can see it because the light is so bright, but she drew like some unicorns, and she said, I love Pretty Like a Princess and Dance On. I love you, Annabelle. <laughs> said, you're Jimmy Grace, my name is Ruby. I've loved your voicemail before. My favorite song of yours is Do Like Dig. I also love the happy song and Little Old Me, and of course, lots more. P.S. Annabelle and I are sisters, love Ruby. I think this is like especially cute because I'm assuming by this handwriting and drawing, I don't think I think you guys can see it a little bit, um, that Annabelle's probably the younger sister and Ruby's a little bit older, but they're, I wouldn't guess high school, I'm gonna guess at least under 12, under 13, um, if not smaller. And like the last letter was from a girl that's 26, which is like a year younger than me. And like that's something that's always like really cool to like, I don't know, like in some like way to be able to reach like little young, like young girls going through stuff and just wanting great music and then girls my age that are going through similar life things than I am like, and then people who are older than me as well. Like that's like such an honor and so cool to um, be able to reach people of all ages. So thanks guys. This one's from Lila. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. When you guys include like photos from school, she says she really, really likes my music. I love you, one song at a time is my favorite, and God Girl. Dear Jamie Grace, you're my favorite singer. I love you so much. I wish I could live with you. <laughs> and then she says, P.S. You are so pretty. P-R-I-T-T-Y. That's how pretty I am. I get my own spelling. So I'm not gonna lie, I've always loved writing you guys back when I can, and I've always loved being able to hop on the phone and call a lot of you guys back. You know the song Reverb on my new record? It was inspired by a kid named Jacob, who I initially met him by calling them back as fans like five or six years ago. So I love getting to do that. But I actually saw the Mr. Rogers documentary like earlier this year, and that was a huge like just burden in my heart in the best way of like how like how massively famous he was and how intentional he continued to be. Like no way am I like as famous as Mr. Rogers. Like I don't know if anybody will ever reach that level of impact ever in the world, but um, I do want to be intentional about that. And he wrote letters to all of his fans and. When I saw that, I was like, man, I want to be like really intentional about that because people take time out of their day to like sit down and like write me stuff. And 
I want to take time out of my day to sit down and write you stuff back. Whoa! That though looks like me. <laughs> this is from Rory. First of all, I want to say congrats on getting married. I'm very happy for you. Second, I want to tell you how much um, your songs, your personality, and values, how much, oh, how much I love them. I, I, I don't know if it's like a part of my reading uh, complexities or disabilities, if you will, but I don't read sentences the way they should be, the way they are written, so forgive me for sometimes taking a long time. Just remember, even though, oh, it's my husband calling me. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, what's going on? This one is from Maddie in Minnesota. I love me some Minnesota. Dear Jamie Grace, I'm Maddie. I listened to the Forgotten Podcast. Oh my gosh, that podcast was so much fun to be on. Thank you, Jamie, for letting me be on your podcast. This one is from Hazel. She's got cats and chickens and goats and a dog. This is from Sarah in Wisconsin. Oh, this is from Christmas. And my sister Emily is 20 and a big fan of your music. Sarah and Emily. Okay, friends, it's like 11.30 at night. I uh, thought this was gonna be a faster process. Not in a bad way. It just took a bit of time. I definitely took some breaks. Uh, took a nap, stole my sister's cap because I didn't feel like brushing my hair. Um, but yeah, so these are the letters that I wrote to you guys. I had so much fun, honestly, reading your letters um, and writing back to you guys. And they're gonna get mailed out in 2019 because Today's a Saturday, tomorrow's a Sunday, and that's how things work around here. Um, but I'm excited that uh, hopefully you guys will get these. Hopefully none of you guys have moved. Um, and if you do, hopefully you are um, taking full advantage of the mail forwarding address address situation for mail postal companies. I'm great at this. These are some like drawings that you guys made and things like that. Um, that I wanted to keep out and just show you guys really quick to just say thank you for this really cool artwork and just show off your sweet little photos that you sent and everything. So thank you guys so much for writing in, for sending the love, for sending like Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A gift cards. I mean, you don't have to send those, but I'm just saying when you do send those, it is a blessing and you I'm have to send very grateful them. that's Aaron. I'm like, we're very grateful when you guys send those. It's not a requirement. But as a pregnant lady, yes, when, when I get a Taco Bell gift card in the mail, like there's one actually right there in the room that I that I got, so thank you that I got today and I'm really excited we're gonna make some pizza. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can send some mail in. I'm gonna, thanks babe, thank you for showing the Taco Bell gift cards. Thank you guys so much for sending these in. Um, my the address is on the screen. I'm gonna do another video like this in February. So if you wanna send in your letter and hopefully I can read some of it on camera and write back to you on camera and get a letter back sent to your house. That sounded creepy when I said to your house. Okay, I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. I miss you already. Bye.